What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of How To Kitchen. I'm Johnny and today we're going to be showing you how to cook the juiciest silver side piece of beef. Now last night I prepared this, I put, made my own beef rub to go on there which basically is salt, pepper, pink peppercorns, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, a bit of chilli, a bit of cayenne pepper. And I let that sit in the fridge overnight for, well, it's got to be about 12 hours now. And just a bit of apple juice on there to help it all soak in. Now, what we're doing today is we're going to do this cook in two parts. The first five hours are going to be on the smoker. Once that's done, we're going to put it in the slow cooker to really help break down the meat so it almost falls apart. Um, for the first hour and a half, we're going to be cooking at 107 degrees. So we're going real low and slow, lazy day to day. It's probably going to be, take about 10 hours. So, 107 for the first hour and a half, and then the next three and a half hours after that, we're going to bump it up to 148. So I'm just going to lift this up and whack this in there now. And I'll tell you what, this is the first time that I've done the two-part cook in the slow cooker because I just I just love using the smoker. But we'll give it a go, see what it's like, and uh, if it's any good, I'll let you know. Hey guys, right, it's been an hour and a half into our cook now. Um, we've been slow and steady at 107 degrees. Every half an hour I've been spraying it with apple juice, just pure apple juice straight out of the carton, just so the small edges don't get burned according to the big bits. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna flip our meat round, turn the temperature up to 148 degrees and leave that for another three and a half hours. And the same again, every half an hour with the apple juice, hidden it up just so it doesn't burn. Now, I'll just flip it round quickly and then we'll get it close up just to show you what it's looking like. See you seconds, guys. Um, also, as well earlier, I didn't quite show you in the video, but I put a couple of herbs and spices on there. Freshly grown out of the how to kitchen garden. Now let me just give you a uh, bit, bit of a close-up of how this is coming along. So there's our meat. Nice bit of silver side. We put some rosemary and some thyme on there, which we've freshly grown ourselves. And as I say again, I'm just going to hit it up with the apple juice, just to make sure that none of the ends get burned. nice and generous with this. Now see that's given it sort of a lovely glazed sort of texture. That's what we want to keep with the consistency of every half an hour spraying it with the apple juice. Now I'm going to put that back down guys, turn that up to 148 degrees, set myself a timer for three and a half hours, we'll come back and see what it's like then. All right guys, quick update on the meat. We've just finished our three and a half hours on the smoker. Um, I've been basting it with uh, apple juice every sort of half an hour, keep it nice and moist. Um, I've turned the heat right down for the last half an hour and just put it on smoke settings so all that smoke will have penetrated into the skin of the meat. And what I've done now, I've turned all that off, we've brought it inside and it's now in the slow cooker. And what I've got in there, I'll just give you a quick, quick, quick peek. There's the beef completely covered in some beef stock, red wine, onions and carrots. That's going to take about four hours in the slow cooker. And when that comes out, the meat should just fall straight apart. No questions asked. Well, guys, we're finally here at the very end of the cook. We're what? Well, we start at 10. We're just over nine and a half hours gone. We've had the beef in the smoker for five hours and the slow cooker for about four and a half hours. Um, on top of it, I've made some mustard mash, which I've done another video on YouTube if you want to check out to make that. And also as well, I thought I'd throw in there a couple of homemade sort of tomato chili beans. But let's take a little look at this. This is the final product. I'll just swing you around here. This is what we've got. So we've got the nice bit of beef all under the red wine sort of gravy I've put in there. The mustard mash and the homemade beans. This over here, guys, is our beef. Now, as you can see, look at that. As I was cutting it, bits were just flaking off. 
and it's so tender. And there's so much flavor from the rub I put in there last night, let it marinate for about 12 hours. I'm gonna enjoy eating this. Anyway, guys, keep tuned, stay safe, cook good food. Bye-bye.